big tournaments up here ever in your career and you guys pull off the win. How exciting is that when it, with the way it happened with the how lucky bounce, the hidden ball trick? Uh, it's just a lot of young guys. We're just battling. And I think, like we said, we just have a lot of young people that just want to play. We're really coachable and just think we just battle out there. Tell us about the triple, um, just your approach and what you saw. Uh, after hitting two balls up the middle hard, nothing really else you can do besides go up there and try to hit another ball hard, and that's just all I looked for. You just that off to a slow start this year, and you had a lot of young guys. Did you think, how, how realistic was it to think you could get to the state summit? I think we always knew that we could get there, but there's a lot of learning curves, and I think now we're over those learning curves, and we're at the best baseball that we're going to play all year. Well, tell me the conversation uh, between you and the coaches for that hidden ball trick. Uh, it was just something we practiced the other day, and we knew we could do it, and we just went at him, and they were it worked, executed it. So, yeah. so, what goes into making it? Uh, well, as a pitcher, I have to make sure I step off and take a good throw to first, and then the first baseman has to slide, and then everyone's selling it really good, and then after that, it's then it's just throw them out. So, yeah. And how important did that turn out to be? It, it really important. Helped me get out of that inning. It was a big key out. To, then I got back into confidence to pitching and helped out with everything. So. Working confidence with this team right now. Nice win to kind of open things up. I know it's a quick turnaround tonight. Yeah. But uh, right now we're through the roof, but we gotta take a deep breath because it's gotta come back. It's another big game coming next, so uh, just take one game at a time, deep breath. So. Did you think you were gonna be called on today? Uh, I thought I was gonna pitch maybe the second game. I was not ready to pitch the first game, but you know what? I you gotta be ready for anything, so came in and shut them down. So about a month ago, you're laying in a hospital bed with the appendectomy. I mean, yeah. are you are you 100 percent yet? Yeah, 100 percent. Felt amazing today. I feel amazing now, so we're all good. So was it an emergency you happened back to me? Uh, yeah, it was just one day after practice, didn't feel good at all, ended up in the ER and had surgery the next morning. So, yeah. So when, so when was it? Uh, April? Or? I think it was the end of April, early May. So, yeah. And you yeah. missed, what, like several weeks? Uh, I think I missed two, maybe three games, and I was back running to get into it, and then I started pitching again a few, like a few weeks after that. So not too bad. When you were laying there in the bed in the hospital, did you think you'd be out here oh, I, winning, the, <laughs> winning the quarterfinal? Oh, no, not, a, not at all, bro. I was just happy to be back out here, happy to be able to play ball again, so it's all good. How did this team get from its early season struggles to the state summer? Oh, we've really come together as a team. Like, we've really bonded. This team is a great family. It's family out here, so just together we're going to get this done, so we're doing good. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carson, what's uh, Rhea and us? Uh, Sunbury or, or in Madison in the hospital? Uh, I think it was at St. Mary's. St. Mary's. Yeah. Okay. I'm almost sure it was April 22nd because you were supposed to pitch against the owner the next day. So, uh, Sorry, guys. I'm just switching positions.